Today's education about bust down versus plain Jane watches. This is Akram from Kalani Jewelry. Don't forget to tune in with us to understand the value behind these watches and why the market is driving the price up in these unique watches. Kalani Jewelry. To everybody that's watching us today, I know you like bust down watches and that's why we are going to explain to you really is the value there when it comes down to busting down these APs or not? Now, I want you all to not forget, like, comment, share, or subscribe to our YouTube channel to see exclusive videos like this. So this plain AP was bought brand new and ready to be bust down completely with VVS DEF in color. And once it's finished, take a look on these APs right beside each other. You see the bust down, completely taking shape, completely outstanding. Why is it outstanding? Because the setting is perfect. This is what you need when you're looking for a bust down watch. You don't wanna buy a watch that has shitty stones or low quality in diamonds or bad engraving. When it comes down to setting, many of the jewelers really don't have no recognitions to the setting or understanding on how the setting gets done. All they know, buy a plain watch, go to the diamond setter and ask him to bust it down. Now you've seen the difference on the plain Jane AP. It's worth $22,000 in the market at the AP store. But real market value sits at 44,000 is because there's limited amount of this 1550 AP available in the market. And what makes it so limited that the production after this pandemic has became so slow because all manufacturers had to cut down their employment up to 10% and that 90% is gone. It makes the watches less available in the market and have the demand up high and that's what drives these watches up in price. Some people say, you know, when I'm gonna buy a bust down watch, I'm gonna buy a factory diamond set watch. Okay, no problem. A factory diamond setting on a watch is boring to me. Why? The new generation of bust down watches looking for extreme shine, extreme water, a lot of diamonds, less stainless steel or less gold or less plain surfaces. Many people say, I don't want to buy a bust down watch by a random jeweler, which is okay. I understand you. A lot of people say, you know, I want a factory diamond set. I understand you too. You want to make sure you want to get the right watch with the right values. Why? Because when you say you want to have a factory setting or a factory diamond setting, it's because you want to ensure the quality of the diamonds are VVS, excellent cut, higher in color, which is DEF. And you want to assure that the person that did setting on this watch did it right. So your value of your money is not going to be a waste. So when you go to factory, you make sure that your watch is done correctly and there won't be any problems in the future. Take a look on this presidential Rolex versus the AP factory setting by the companies themselves. They look incredible. I have nothing to say against that, but it's classic. It is old, but look at this sky dweller done by us with the VVS DEF in color. This bezel will definitely hit, will have more attraction, will bring you more noise, and will have more people look at you and ask you, where did you get this bust down watch? You have to be an engineer, not just a diamond setter when it comes down to watches. These watches have values to them. So when you pick it a plain watch, like this plain Jane blue face 36 mm, we have right here for you. This plain watch, is worth 10,000. This 10,000 on plain Jane is never gonna go nowhere. It's always gonna be 10,000 because the watch is available in the market for 10,000. The only thing that makes it look unique is the blue face. But plain Jane like this doesn't have so much attraction. The only attraction you have when you have a plain Jane watch like this on your wrist, it's a Rolex. Look at this Cartier and look at this bust down Rolex. These watches, what you see available in the market. This is what I call big flash, low cash. Low cash, why? Because you are going to spend 
your money on a bust down Rolex, Cartier or AP and you're already looking to save money, that's when you fall in the trap and you create yourself a problem. This issue becomes the setter will have no knowledge on how to save you money, but creating spaces and damaging all these diamonds. Because setting on stainless steel is the toughest thing for anyone to do. Look at this Toronto Max VVS DEF. First, taking the look of this front face. Tell me if you see a difference or not. If you do see a difference, I want you to like, comment, or share this content right now for other people to actually recognize the difference between buzz down watches versus plain and do both keep the value let's get into plain watches this rolex in rose gold the anniversary with the green face this watch has been driven in price so dramatically all they had to say this watch might get discontinued this year and the watch price basically went up 50 percent more than the real value in the market is why because rolex has a name they know what the market wants and they know how to limit their watches a lot of people start to think am i gonna be buying this watch am i not is this watch gonna keep its value is it gonna rise in value more or not nobody knows it's up to rolex if they discontinue this watch, you're definitely going to be hitting a jackpot. This green heart has been discontinued. I remember when I first seen this watch. About eight years ago, and it was selling for around 8000 Today, this watch sits at $25,000. You basically doubled up on your money. Because Rolex has discontinued this watch. The whole moral of this video is to let you know, does buzz down watches keep its value yes buzz down watches if they're done right set with the best quality diamonds they definitely going to rise in value this is akram from kalani jewelry toronto max don't forget to like comment share or subscribe to our video for other people to find us